Okay. I think that should be that. How's everybody doing? I'm streaming today. I'm finally streaming this favorite Pokemon mathematically. This is like a, like a little website that came out a couple days ago or weeks ago. And I got tweeted at me by a few people and they asked me to do a vid or stream it. So I figured I'd stream it. My favorite Pokemon is Slowking. But I figured we would do this for science sake and we could find out what's going on. What is the agency's favorite Pokemon? What is the number one agent? You know, we got to find out. We got to find out. So I figured we'd do this. It's a pretty cool website too. Um, it's pretty like intuitive. I don't know. You see, you pick your favorite from like these 20 and then there's like a, like a smaller selection, etc., etc. And then somehow, you know, we get to the bottom of finding the best Pokemon. The best Pokemon? Well, there's a couple of, there's a couple of, there's like, uh, there's Slowking, you know, my favorite. I like Lilligant a lot. I like Salamence. I like Wochan. I like Thunderous. I like, uh, who else do I like? I don't know. I like Darmanitan G a lot. That guy is a beast. Darmanitan G? Oh, oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Darmanitan G is one of the best designs of all time. The stupid fucking snow, the snowman with the gigantic little thing on his head. I love that thing's design. Darmanitan G has always had one of the best designs. That thing is one of my favorites. I don't know why, because to be honest, when I remember when I said that the first time, people were hating on me when I said it on my first stream when uh, Gen 8 came out. I said, Darmanitan G has such a sick design. And people were so mad. They were like, no, it's so lazy and shit. And I was, I was a little, I was a little disappointed to hear that. You know, that's all I can say. I was a little, I was a little disappointed to see the, uh, the detractors. But Darmanitan G is great. I really like Darmanitan G's art. It's very nice. It's very clean. It's a good one. Are you going to do a shiny version of this? I'll just tell you if I like the shiny Pokemon. I don't know if I could do the whole thing again. I don't even know all these Pokemon. Alright, so my favorite normal type Pokemon is definitely not Rattata. It's definitely not. And I also might have some bias. Because I, uh, I have a competitive minded mind. I'll tell you the in games I've played. I played Pokemon Sapphire. I played Pokemon Platinum. I played Black one i played half of black two i played xy so i played a decent amount of games you know what i'm saying i just know what i'm saying yeah i never played heart gold soul silver i didn't play ORAS. i played xy though as in like i beat the game that was a good time gen 5 was my favorite gen well gen 5 had the best battle subway but platinum, I had the best in-game of my platinum. Anyway, from the normals, there are some good mons here. But I gotta go. I gotta go with old reliable. You know, a mon that has never let me down. It's Tauros. You really can't you really can't go wrong when you go with a mon like this. Tauros is one of the just it's just one of them ones. Just one of them ones. One of those Pokemon that I'm always, you know, a big fan of. Old reliable. Do I go down or do I go by the do I go left to right or do I go down? What should we do? What should we do? What's the correct way to do this? Should I go by gen? I think that would be pretty tough. All right, let's go by gen. Heard, heard, heard. All right, gen 2, gen 2, gen 2. All right, so if we look at the gen 2, there's some tough mons. Really, this is tough. They have quite a few that I like. If I had to break it down between a few, it would be Dunsparce, Ursa Ring, and this joint right here, probably. Hmm. Ursa Ring. Because Ursa Ring is the strongest. Ursa Ring is the best. That's not by Jen? I'm going the wrong way? What the fuck? You want me to go like this? So I have to do the full first gen? I thought by gen meant 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They want the rose. That shit is boring. That shit is boring. 
Yeah, and y'all are dipshits. It's types, not gens. Anyways, we're gonna finish normal type first. Let's see. Next we got... Ooh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They got a lot of good ones here. A lot of these... A lot of these are strong, right? You got Exploud. You've seen Exploud in a lot of different... A lot of different lives, right? Slacking. Slacking is a super regular around here. Everybody likes slacking. Little Baby, who I was an unfortunate victim of in the past. Zangoose. I like Zangoose design-wise. The streets are saying Little Baby. That's a good one. Never forget Linoon as well. This is tough. There's a lot of good normal types. There's a lot of good ones. Remember when CTC swept Sama with Linoon? That was something that we could have never... We could have never, ever, ever, ever forgotten. It's just one of the greatest games of all time. Gen 4. Oh my god, they got some dudes. But it's obviously Bibs, no contest. It's definitely Bibs, no contest. The real remember Bibs. And what, what kind of work this Pokemon did in the hit video called Bibs. Remember that. This is a Mon. <sighs> Man. And Bibs is one of them ones. All right. Oh, wow. These are some interesting ones. All right. So most of these are really bad. Like this. I know this name. This is Pat Rat. Unpheasant. I know a lot of these shitters. Deerling. Anyway, all these suck. But I really like Stoutland. Braviary. Boof, Boofalant. What else? I like Meloetta. I like all these designs. I'm not going to hold you. I like all these designs. I brought a Stoutland to a tournament game in OU one time. And it got fucking owned. This shit was ass. So, probably gonna go with Braviary. Alright, let's go to VI. Oh, shit. Yo, what are these? What is this? Furfro has 10 different joints? What? So, how come Showdown doesn't even have more than one joint? What is this? If, Fur if I knew Furfro had all 10 of these joints, I would obviously use Furfro more. You know what I mean? Come on. What is this? Why did nobody tell me that Furfro had all these different fits? This is some this is some nice stuff. Whoa. I wish I knew about this. Anyways, I'm a tryhard, so it's got to be one of the megas. But Diggersby is all reliable. I like Megalopony a lot, though. But that's probably more competitive than design-wise. Design-wise, it's like whatever. Diggersby is a funny-ass design. And I used to spam it a lot. All of these are shit. Except for Beware. Beware is pretty heat. They, oh, and Komala. It's going to be tough. But I got to pick Komala. Because Komala had its hit video. A.K.A. Don't sleep on Komala. And I can't sleep on Komala. So I got to pick it as our representative. Oh. Oh, these are all crazy. Why does Meowth look like that? Look at this. Look, Meowth looks so evil. This is this is scary. Wow, this is tough. They got nothing but straight shooters. Obstagoon, I love Obstagoon, but like, what is this? They got nothing but hitters. Zoroark H, Snorlaxium Snorlax, dude. Ursaluna. They really got some hitters here. Gen eight, they weren't fucking around. Damn, it's a tough scene. But I have like five Obstagoon videos, so I gotta pick that shit. Obviously. Oh, what? No, not that. No, dude, not that guy. All right, Gen 9 normal types. Ooh. I like Squawkabilly. Shout out my boy Microwell in the chat. Gifting the 20 members. Holy shit. Let me see some W's in the chat. Big shout out to Mikro. He, no he had to, he had to, he had to one up it. He had to one up it and put it at. At another five. Big love to Microwell. Always pulling up to the stream. Make sure you like the stream if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to a thousand likes on this stream. I wonder how long this will take. It'll take a couple hours, I think. But it'll be well worth it when we get to the bottom of this. Big shout outs to Microwell as always. He is a super duper beast. Always pulling up. If you got gifted a membership, make sure you thank him. Make sure you join the Discord. Want to see all y'all in there, if you are a member, so appreciate that. Shout out Microwell. This is a platinum stream. 
Can someone link me this favorites tab? Let me let me put this in my in my stream description. I see a lot of people asking for the link to this shit. Let me put it in my description. Okay, I put it in my description. So now if you want to use the uh, go on this website, just refresh it and you should be able to use this website. Shout out Devin for gifting a membership. Much love, much appreciated. We're on the road to a thousand members. At one thousand members, we're gonna be showing the next agency merch capsule. The next, the, the, the most fire shit we're gonna be showing at a thousand. So shout outs to y'all. Thank you for showing love. Thank you for all the gifted memberships. Appreciate y'all always. Shout outs Big Micro Well. Shout outs Devin. Hey, we, we going up. We going up. The agency continues to provide always just wait on it we got so much planned it's 2023 now we got a lot this is some good stuff this is some good stuff they got some good normal types here now it's very clear who we're gonna pick right all true agents know who we're picking right it's it's really it, it, it come on now everybody knows who we're going to pick everybody and if you don't know well that's a bad look that's a bad look it's mh equals pb come on now you know the people who said squawkabilly you're not wrong you're not wrong it's it's very tough right because these two are amazing but mouse hold is mouse hold are you crazy i was an og mouse believer i literally love mouse hold come on now i love squawkabilly too but mouse hold is Come on, man. Mouse hold is so inspirational, man. Mouse hold is so good, man. Man. Mouse hold is so good, man. The favorite. Oh, shit. Of these nine? Damn. This is so hard. All of these are super shysty. I'm, I, if I had to pick. All right. So the top three on this list is uh, Komala mouse and uh bibs this is a crazy top three crazy top three this is like nine super goats right here Psh, i gotta come back to this my mind needs to my, my i'll do the final at the end my mind needs to come back because right now psh, it's just so fresh you know the we gotta come back to it. we gotta simply put we'll come back to the fi the the finalists later after we see more pokemon you know because right now i've only seen these nine pokemon today there's a million views between all nine of those mons lives not gonna lie man that is a very kind comment probably like 200k but you know what i <laughs> appreciate you <laughs> appreciate you so much komala is so insane think about komala man it has its, uh, its signature ability right the comatose bullshit and then you got back in the day i used to spam that last resort set remember an ou Ooh, go watch that live if you haven't seen that live somebody link that live the don't sleep on komala live i think i posted it in 2019 it's insane komala display it's g goober display all right let's look at this fire gen one so fire gen one they got some hitters they got nothing but straight hitters everybody on here looks pretty good if i had to pick one it would probably be charmelon or or moltres but i'm not sure i'm not sure to be honest i mean i like zard but i like zard x and zard y zard regular zard regular is kind of pussy respectfully respectfully i like magby too magby is you know hmm hmm 471 viewers only 200 likes the math ain't mathin i think you're right kruby i think the math ain't mathin make sure you like the stream if you haven't already folks tap in how can there be this many votes 400 votes but not even 400 likes the math there's something going on i'm not i'm not sure a lot of you like rk9 i get it i like rk9 too it's got a great design you know but it it's like whatever the hisuian one is so much harder i like this one this oh this is magmar all right magmar is the one i like magmar a lot it's gonna be tough motres is yeah, but Charmeleon cover the color of Charmeleon. Charmeleon, the color is just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So I don't know. It's a tough one, folks. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. 
And I like Flareon a good amount too, I'm not gonna lie. Flareon with that facade? Come on, man. There's too many good ones here. We're gonna go with... Charmeleon. I have to. I have to. Whoa. Well, this is no contest. It's Ho-Oh. Nobody, nobody here except for Magby can compete with Ho-Oh. And I like Magby a lot. But I already picked one baby Pokemon, so I'm picking the GOAT because I really like Ho-Oh. Like, I really like Ho-Oh. This is one of my favorite mons. This is like, this shit is so crazy. The attack, base 1 billion. The HP, base 1 billion. The Spadef, base 1 billion. Come on, bro. Regenerator, come on, bro. Brave Bird, come on, bro. It's the... This guy's the GOAT. Come on. I love Ho-Oh. This is one of the strongest, most epic mons ever. This tube so fire, so fire. This mon's epic. I love this Pokemon. I like Houndoom, don't get it twisted. But hey, if you had to ask me between Houndoom and Ho-Oh, which is better, let's be real about the shit. Let's be real about the shit, folks. One is clearly superior to everybody else. And that is my guy Ho-Oh. All right, let's see. Over over here we got uh we got some good ones, but this is a pretty no contest to me. Blaziken, I like Blaziken a lot as a kid. Blaziken is the goat for that reason. It really ain't shit to say. Oh, only six fire types in Gen Four. They're saying, oh my gizzard. All right, I would say that from these four, it's got to be between Infernape and Heatran, but Infernape is like crazy. Infernape design wise. It's so godlike. Are you crazy? There's never going to be another iconic ass Infernape fire monkey super god. Come on now. It's tough. Heatran is a fire. Like, a Heatran is cool. Let's be real. But come on now. Infernape is Infernape. Come on now. Well, I may have to think about this. Heatran is the goat. Heatran is the goat. But. ESTG trend though, ooh, that is well said. That is well said. E trend's design is pretty whatever though. Like it's a cool design. Don't get it twisted. But I like looking at Infernape a lot more than I like looking at Heatran. Also, Infernape is swag. Nice close combat U-turn versus Protect Taunt. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's got to be Infernape. Rotom Heat might even tell. What about Magmortar? I had an incredible Magmortar live. Magmortar always looked kind of funny. He got a nice little lightning bolt. He was always very confused. <laughs> Dipshit Pokemon. <laughs> Ape just CC. <laughs> Brainless Infernape. Close combat. <laughs> Infernape is what Chimpak thinks he looks like. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> That shit is fucking funny, bro. Dude, these are all such amazing Pokemon. I can't figure it out. Ah, man. SA Magmortar is funny. <laughs> Dude, we're going with Infernape. Oh, my God. These are all super shiced, but... All right, so if I had to pick, it's going to be Reshiram. Because I've already said in the past how much I like this Mon. And that it... it it disappoints me how nobody uses this shit. It never gets used. It's gotta be Zaza, bro. Nobody uses this mod. I've never seen this mod used in no type of competitive Ubers game ever one time in its entire life. Never one time have I seen this bitch used. Not one time. I love Reshiram. Why won't they use it? Why won't they show it love? What did Reshiram do? Why won't they love Reshiram? Why won't they love him? <sighs> Damn it. Why won't they love Reshiram, man? Why won't they show it some love? We'll never know. Wow, these are some fucking designs. So this is difficult because a lot of these are crazy. Zardax is really good. Volcanion is really good. This Primal G shit. What is this called? Primal Groudon? I thought this shit was from Gen 7. This shit's from Gen 6? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I used this. I made a. I made playoffs. I remember. I made playoffs of uh, Smogon Grand Slam, which is like a, a lower tier tournament for this trophy. And... But let me tell you what happened in the playoffs. I brought this Primal Groudon shit, right? I had Rock Polish, Eruption, Solar Beam, uh, Precipice Blades. And I complete No, no, no. I had, I had Rock Polish, Eruption, 
solar beam, HP ice. It was really outrageous. No earthquake. I was... Pfft, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Set was outrageous. Came in out of eruption. Boom, boom, boom. Insane set. Only the goatest of goat sets. All special. I was so tapped in, bro. <laughs> so tapped. No ground move. What was I cooking? Pfft, they may never know. HP ice was so crazy, too. HP ice. And I sniped the Salamence, the Mega Mence or some shit like that. But... Uh, I don't know. All of these are... All of these are good. Primal G is really amazing. Ah, uh, this is... And all the Mega... But I'm a sucker for Megas. Zardex? Think about how much Zardex has done for us. Shout out Dry... Dry Chin... I don't know what that is. Dry Chinny B for three months. Happy Wednesday Eve, agents. Happy Wednesday Eve. Almost on. Almost on. Thank you very much for three months. Thank you for showing love. We almost at a thousand members. We slowly on the way there. Thank you all for tuning in. Ain't it Tuesday though? That's exactly why they said happy Wednesday Eve. Come on now. Come on now. It's Wednesday Eve. This is really difficult. Incredible. A ground type totally walled by every fire type. Shh. Here's the tech. They're never gonna go Heatran on my Groudon. So they'll never know. You know, me and CTC used to run this one set back in uh, Gen 6 tournaments. It was... Needle King with Sludge Wave, Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Sucker Punch. To the untrained eye, this Needle King is walled by Heatran. But to the trained eye, Heatran's never coming in, and we're pulling up with this Needle King and Sucker Punching Latios at 60% and knocking it out. Y'all could never. Y'all could never. Just know. Just know. These are some strats, baby. Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is because people would use shit like Gengar back then. And they would use hella Lotties. So we would just Sucker Punch it at 60%. It was mad genius. No need for Earth Power. Heatran's not coming in. This was Gen 6 before Toxapex and all of them existed. It just, it's just going with the theme of ground types not using ground moves. Picking four random moves and being walled by Heatran happens too often. You're telling me. You're telling me. Okay, I'm gonna go Groudon. Shit's a beast. Oh, dude, this is so easy. Come on now. To be honest, I really love Marowak Alolan's design. The bone having the this fucking turquoise fire is really, really crazy. But obviously, I'm going to go with the clown. Shimon! This is the best Pokemon of all time. Are you crazy? I love this mod. The Michael Jackson. Blaze. Come on now. Blaze is so fire. Let's be real. Blaze is like one of the best. Oh, all the G-Maxes is so insane. It's obviously this though it's no contest probably this for me this is one of my favorites just like the other one is one of my favorites i do like a lot of these designs but this is so fucking funny to me i love this one i like uh i like typhlosion a lot too i love typhlosion h but <laughs> darm g is so funny come on the stupid ass smile on the belly but then it also has the eyes up here it's the dumbest shit of all time. What kind of design is this? I like Hisui and Growlithe. It kind of looks like Houndstone, you know? No, these are all really good, but unfortunately, it's hard to decide. Wow, these are all super shiest as well. They really made Chi Yu look pussy here. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this is actually very difficult. I love pretty much all of the fully evolved form shits. Like, I like Skeledurge a lot. I like... Seru Ledge, I like Armor Rouge. I would probably say Seru Ledge. I really like Seru Ledge. And I really like Tauros Fire too. This is really difficult, man. This, but Seru Ledge's design is out of this world. This is like a... I really like Dirge, though. <sighs> man. Dirge is Dirge. Whatever, I'm picking this. This is so... Fire types are so epic. How do they win so much? Look at the pussies here. Compared to these, like this lineup, oh my god, 9-0 versus this shit. This shit right here, if it pulls a goobed, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I mean, I could have picked Arceus and normal type, but I don't even like Arceus that much. It's tough. Fire types are da dangerous mons. Watch out for them. They're all fire ghosts are crazy. That's super facts. All right, we're on the water now. Holy sh- Yeah, because there's like 1 million water types. They got like water inflation in this bitch. Alright, there's so many of these guys. If I had I can rule out a lot of these. 
competitively, I've probably used Starmie the most. I used Starmie so much in Gen 5 and even in Gen 6 when everyone told me it was shit because it's my friend. I like Slowbro a lot too. I like Thunder Waving. I like, dude, it's Blastoise though. Blastoise is so funny. Tentacruel is funny. That Scarf Tentacruel used to put in work for us. But I really like Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise design-wise is like so epic. Come on now. Gunna is a classic. Next. Ooh, Slowking is my favorite Pokemon. So I, I, it's not even a contest. I'm not even going to give the other ones the, the, the time of day. Slowking is my favorite mon, so it's, it's got to be up there. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, this is all solid. Because Craw is my like is like my top three water types and my top five mons probably ever. You know what I'm saying? Competitively. Shark, I like a lot, but I like Mega Shark more. So it looks like Craw wins in a landslide victory. Let me see Mr. Craw's in the chat. Oh, but Lotad is here. <gasps> Yo. I didn't realize Lotad is here. Yo, post your favorite emoji in the chat. Either Mr. Craw or Lotad. Who's going to win? Who's going to win between Mr. Craw or Lotad? Who will be victorious? Oh, no. This is so crazy. <laughs> They're saying Lotad can be the grass type? Moi be. Moi be. It looks like, it looks like Craw is doing pretty good, though. It looks like Craw is, 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 is victorious, I think. I don't know. It might be close. But you know what? We're going to go with Craw. Because Craw is a, is a generational timepiece it's just too much it's too good gen 4 all of these in gen 4 are pretty heat i like uh i like bibs a lot but picking bibs twice is like what the fuck is wrong with you you know what i mean so i'd probably pick empoleon empoleon is the is is really really just amazing you know everybody likes empoleon who doesn't like empoleon you know palkia is cool too but i like the new palkia more like i like dickhead palkia too you know i respectfully but the new Palkia that stands up and has the 120 speed, that one is pretty shy. That's That one is the one I like the more. No offense to dickhead Palkia, though. Horse Palkia is crazy. Horse, horse Palk, that's what it is. All right, Rotom Wash is pretty cool, but like that's so tryhard. I can't pick the thing that Will-O-Wisps and both switches out. So let's pick the thing that Scalds and Protects. I like Manaphy a lot, too. Manaphy always had a pretty cool design, I'd say. I like the middle joint too yo this is tough the middle joint is pretty cool mm. i don't like when you call it that i'm sorry <laughs> all right gen 5 oh gen 5 has keldeo the goat but you know i really really like jellicent but i used keldeo in 10 trillion battles i used keldeo in my first 100 uh thousand tournament battles so it's tough. And I like Toad a lot. But if I was to competitively gauge it, it's tough. I would ha I would have to put Keldeo if I was to competitively gauge it. It's pretty tough. Keldeo has, has never let me down. So I think I'll have to pick Keldeo. Even though I love Seismitoad so much, I have to. I have to. Unfortunately, I have to pick it. Because this is just, this is a mon that has saved me in so many times. Even I brought this guy to the finals and it cooked. Oh, this is the best mon of all time. I can't not pick it. I can't not pick it. I can't not pick it. This is a mon that has just done some carrying that you can't even imagine. This is, this is an outrageous mon. I can't even, I can't even begin to explain. I can't even begin to explain whoa now this is called challenging this is like whoa what is this this is like everybody here is godly what is come on man gren mega this is like all-star fucking lineup what is this gen 6 is impossible everything in gen 6 is godly like this is insane i love mega shark dude but i love greninja too fuck Yo, that's so tough. Mega Shark for the history, man. Mega Shark for the history is big, but ah, I don't know. I I really like I like, man. 
everything is good everything is fire oh this is super tough no i can't pick ash grand that's cheap gents ah this is really insanity all right let me think let me think Who's been there for me the most? It's Greninja by 10 miles. Swampert's been there for me a lot. Even though I sacked Swampert to that one Will-O-Wisp, you gotta understand, I won all the other rain games. Swampert, Swampert is my guy. I let Swampert down. It wasn't the other way around. Greninja has let me down only like a couple times with Hydro Pumping, but it's tough, right? So it, it's between these two, and then Mega Shark is a god. I had a great success with Mega Shark. These are all three so amazing. Ah, oh, man. But you know what? I'm going to have to go with. I'm going to have to go with. Well, this is Gen 6, right? This is Gen 6, not Gen 7. I didn't even like Greninja like that in Gen 6. I liked it in Gen 7. And I didn't even like Shark like that. I didn't like any of these shits back in Gen 6, to be honest with you. So, damn. I don't know, actually. Hmm. Shout out Chief Keef Sosa for the three months. Appreciate you, mate. You sleeping on Skrelp, I fear. Skrelp is a funny guy. I like Skrelp. It's a funny guy. This is very difficult. Alrighty. I've decided what to pick. We're going with... Uh, brrr, uh, uh, it's tough. It's tough. Oh, shout out my man, Joe. For the four months we are so up family yes we are so up thank you all showing love we got a lot of members today appreciate that it's got to be gren or shark i'm going with gren i gotta do what i gotta do i gotta do what i gotta do all right let's go to gen 7 holy shizze well this is easy for me this is actually pretty easy for me because all of these are pretty nasty right but my favorites are Galissapod and fucking Araquanid. Both of these are like... <sighs> no, Bruxish is not my favorite, bro. Bruxish is funny, right? I like Bruxish and Rogue. But Bruxish is fucking whack. Stop playing with me. I'm not picking Bruxish. <laughs> I really like Araquanid. I was going to bring Araquanid in, 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 a, in a tournament tiebreaker before. Swear to God. Swear to God. I thought it had a nice uh, matchup. I use Araquanid competitively in OU like that. Seriously. Back in Gen 7. It, he was really he was really in there. Water bugs are really good. I don't like Pex. I I really like Araquanid and I really like Pod. But I like I like Araquanid more. Tapu Fini the goat. Tapu Fini is like Keldeo for me. The amount of times this mon has saved my life is It's incredible. The amount of times that I have misplayed just for Tapu Fini to come back and win the game. This is the this is like the Heatran for water types. Unkillable super beast lord. I love this mon. Anyway, Iraq when it wins. Next. Alright. Gen 8, we got all these super duper go. Why does their Shifu look like that? Oh my god, why does her Shifu look like that? He's tough. Tough as a bitch. Oh my god. Why is this eating the Mon? Good god. I like Dracovish a lot. I like Samurai H. I like Horse Palk a lot. This is tough. This one is tough. This one looks beast. I like all these a lot. These are all really insane. But Horse Palk is like brutal looking. Dracovish gave such a good thumbnail. That's right. Dracovish has done a lot for the agency. I'm not going to hold you. It has done a lot for the agency. All right. Look at these. Whoa. What is this walking wake? What is this shit? What? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Yo, these sprites are so good. Yo, these sprites are so fine. It's obviously Palafin, right? We love Palafin around here. Walking wake goob. <laughs> walking woob. <laughs> Yo, I fuck with this art, though. This is cool. I love Bundle, and I love Palafin. It's tough. Both of these are insane. But, dude, it's Palafin. I love Palafin design. Water types are incredible. Look at this lineup of all-stars. Sheesh. Gen 9 is tough. Gen 9 is tough. 
The water types they had were gorgeous. They even had Venezuela on there. Come on now. Zero to agency ability is crazy. Facto. Alright, grass joints. Hmm. These are all soft. If I had to pick one, it's probably these dudes. These dudes are funny. How can they just be eggs? They're literally just eggs. They're literally just eggs. This shit makes no sense, so I kind of like them. Everything here is garbage. Literally all of this is shit, so I'd probably pick Celebi if I had to pick one. None of these appeal to me. I like Jump Love in Ranbats. Anyway, Celebi, when I was a noob, right? I'll give you the backstory on Celebi buddies. So, uh, let me take you back, right? So, uh, it's uh, early 2013, right? I'm playing Black White 2 on the Pokemon Online ladder, right? At this point, my highest peak is top 40 on the ladder, right? And this is, this is like, uh, I, it was tough, right? I had a nasty team, a rain team, and I used a Celebi with U-Turn, Giga Drain, Recover, Perish Song. And I would just switch it in all the time on Calm Mind shit, Perish Song, and then U-Turn out, and I thought I was the most genius ever. And I farmed so many dipshits with that shit at like 13, and I got to the top of the ladder. But I only got 40 it's still with that team. I got number one for the first time with the most tryhard team ever like six months later. It was Terrakion, Landorus, Tyranitar, Scizor, Latios, Keldeo. The best team ever. Smoked everybody with it. Yeah. Very hard to win when you have Tyranitar, Latios, Keldeo. I know. I know. Very, very difficult team to use. All right. Anyways, Celebi is good though. Celebi was there for me when I was a noob. So I'm going to be there for it now when I'm the GOAT. And it's shit. Uh... All of these are pretty cool. I'm not going to hold you. If I had to pick between any of them, it would be between Breloom, Lotad, Sceptile, and Tropius. But I love Lotad like anything. Lotad is one of my favorite mons. Y'all remember when Lotad was my uh, profile picture for so long? Okay. All of these are pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. I like Rotom Cut a lot. I like Tangrowth a super lot. I like Obama Snow a lot as well. Shaman 2. Rose Raid 2. I, I really like all of these. All of these are beast. Like the... In terms of reliability, Tangrowth has saved me in God knows how many games. Obama Snow is cool from like a Mons perspective because Ice Grass is a unique typing. But as for all reliables, damn, man. Tangrowth won the Smog Tour Finals. Oh, say no more, sir. I think you've just convinced me. You're right. Tangrowth did indeed win the Smog Tour Finals. It will be. It will. Anybody that won Smog Tour Finals, that, that I won Smog Tour, it's coming with us. It's coming with us. <laughs> Tangrowth is not lame. Take that back. Tangrowth is not lame. Tangrowth has so much shit it can do. We got Rocky Helmet Sleep Powder, right? Beastly. We got Assault Vest capable of walling even a Kirim. It's just too nasty. Stop hating on Tangrowth. Tangrowth has done too much for us. Too much. Too much. For us to hate. Grass type. Lilligant is my favorite, but I'm not going to lie. I really, really, really like Whimsicott. I love Whimsicott. Like, it's pretty neck and neck between these two. I used to use Whimsicott a lot because I used to play triple battle on the subway in Gen 5 on the Wi-Fi subway. And Whimsicott was really good on there because Priority Tailwind and all that shit. Um, anyways, it's going to be Lilligant because I love this Pokemon. Whoa, Gen 6 in this bitch. Gen 6 got some funny ones. All of you are pretty funny looking. Obama Snow, though, is always one of my favorites. I would always want an excuse to use this. I even laddered up with this thing because I, I just loved it. Uh, Obama Snow is fucking dope. It's definitely Obama Snow for me by far. I think this guy's a beast. It's just too good. It's just too good. All right. Gen 6. Gen 6 had some of them ones. Anyways, I like this thingy. I don't even know its name, but I like it. I like uh, Egg. I like Serena. I like Bulu a lot. I like Cart a good amount as well. Fomantis. This is P's favorite poke. This is a this is the best ass. This is a good ass mod. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is a good mod. Hmm. All of these are pretty good. I like Decidueye a lot too. Cart is Cart though. Or reliable coming with me. All right, next. Um, ooh. Now, these are cool. I like this guy a lot. G-Max. 
G Max Venu. I like uh, Appleton. Appleton is pretty cool. I really hate Calyrex. I really hate Calyrex. I'm not going to hold you. I really hate Calyrex. I like Venusaur a lot with this little umbrella on the head. This is funny. I don't like Rillaboom that much. Like, I like Rillaboom as a Pokemon, like, using it competitively, but this shit is cheap. Grassy Glide, Grassy Glide, Grassy Glide. Fuck you. Shit is cheap. Um, I'd sooner pick Appleton. Or Flapple. Probably gonna have to pick Appleton. I like Appleton. I like his Leech Seed, Dragon Pulse, Apple Acid bullshit cheese, too. Wow. These are some good-ass grass types. Anyways, it's Wo Chan. But there's so many good ones, right? Like, there's so many good ones. There's so many. There's so many, right? Toad School is a beast. Brute Bonnet is a beast. I like Arbo a lot. I love Meow. I even like Iron Leaves. These, these are some great arts. Come on. They're amazing. They're amazing. But li like, Wo Chen is like... <sighs> live Wo Chizzy reaction. Alright. Electric types. Oh, hell no. This is easy. This is Zapdos. The rest of you look unfinished and shit. The end. Ooh. All of these are pretty cool. I like Mega Ampharos more than I like OG. I like Mareep and I like Flaffy. Those those are cool. But it's probably this guy that's I like more. There's only four? Damn. I like this one the most. Oh yeah, finally we got some Why do electrics have no representation? What is going on? There's no representation for these joints. This is either Zone or Evire. I'm not I'm not sure honestly. I like both of them a lot. I'd say Zone though. I really like Zone. Zone is like super cool. And no one can do what Zone does. Such an amazing uh niche in Pokemon. I'd have to pick Thunderous from this list. I like Zekrom a lot. I like Zep Strike a lot, but Thunderous is like top five for me. What is all these dumbass Pikachus? They always got different Pikachus. Fabio. Electric is pretty easy, I'm not gonna lie. There's always one that's like 10x better than the other ones. Alright, I like Chargebug, Coco, and Zero Aura. So we're going with Coco, because Coco is like the dope. Come on. Coco is fucking super duper beast. Of course Coco's coming with us. Let's be real. What is this? G Max Pika? I like Tox a lot. I love the Zolts. I love Reggie Alecky. Damn. Oh, more Pico! Dude, I love more Pico. Remember the more Pico live? That thing is a legend in our city. I gotta pick more Pico. Toxtricity is pretty dope, but more Pico is like, come on. More Pico's a legend. More Pico's a legend in the city. I'm not gonna lie. It's just too good. Oh yeah, this was the first agent. You're right. This is hard. I like all these mons a lot. But I, I'm picking Maridon. It's the greatest mon of all time. Are you crazy? I like Palmod a lot too, though. The Palmod Live was pretty fun. Belly A Bolt is pretty funny. It's tough. I like Kilowatt a lot. Kilowatt was on my first team. I'm probably going to pick Kilowatt, if I'm being honest. I think I'm going to pick Kilowatt. I really like Kilowatt. Kilowatt, it just is. Kilowatt for me is thunderous too. I love Kilowatt. Kilowatt, it just, it just, it just pulls up and it kilowatts everywhere. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's perfect. It's a perfect mon to have. I'm sorry to say. I love Kilowatt. I like the electric flying types. I do. I like them a lot. We got five very great viable options here. I can't cap. All of these are great. I don't think I've ever used any of these in tournament. I probably used a cloister before, but probably not for no serious shit. Because I don't trust cloister like that. Why didn't you pick Toxpex for any water? Fuck Toxpex. Alright, we're going to go with Articuno. Oh, this is tough. I like I like all of these. I actually like Delibird a lot. So, I'm going to go with that. I actually like Delibird a lot. Oh, this is pretty nasty. They got a lot of good ones here. I like Mega Glalie a lot more than I like regular Glalie. I like regular Glalie too. Don't get it twisted. Glalie is fucking beast. 
but I feel like I like Mega more. Let me l see what Mega looks like. Yeah, Mega is clean sweeping this category, so I'm just going to put that there. And then I'm not going to take regular Glalie. We'll put something else there. My Mega Glalie is the GOAT. I love Mega Glalie. Come on now. I like Wall Rain a lot, and I do like Reg Ice a lot, but I really like Wall Rain. So I'm going to pick Wall Rain. Wall Rain actually, it was one of my mods I beat the Elite Four with in my first run of Platinum when I was like a kid. I remember because we were on vacation somewhere, seeing family, and that shit was so fucking boring. And my parents got me this game. Uh, no, they didn't even give me the game. I got a gift card from my from my cousins. And then my parents took me to, to the store, Target, and we got the game. And then I remember playing that shit, and I beat the game in like 36 hours. And then, uh, anyways, Wall Rain carried me like a motherfucker. I surfed and I ice beamed everybody in the E4. They all got fucking smashed. Over and I just surfed and I ice beamed everybody. It was completely smashed. This is tough. I like Rotom F, and I like Ma uh, Mammoth Swine a lot. It's probably Mammo though. Mammo is like a gorgeous Pokemon. Come on now. This is a Mon for the ages. Come on now. This is a this is a, this is a, this is a gorgeous Pokemon. Absolutely gorgeous looking Pokemon. Can't go wrong with this shit. Absolutely can't. You know what I mean? Frostless is cool too. No, Frostless is fire. Wait a minute, Glaceon? What am I saying? Yo, obviously it's Glaceon. I'm sorry to say, folks. But it's well documented on the Thunder Blunder 777 channel that Glaceon is a complete goat of the agency franchise used many times in many of our battles. Sorry to say, Glaceon will be winning. No, Glaceon is the one. I love Glaceon. Scarf Glaceon Blizzard in the hail. It's a major upset. It is what it is. It is what it is, folks. Glaceon is... Phew. Glaceon is one of them ones. Sorry to say. Is Mammal Swine robbed? F in the chat for Mammal Swine. F in the chat for Mammal Swine. Sorry to say. Bear Tick, Kiram White, Kiram Black. All these are shysty. All of these are shysty. But you gotta understand, I have so many Glaceon lives. I have a Glaceon live for Gen 7, Gen 8, and Gen 9. You know how obsessed that is? I love that shit. This shit is the GOAT. <laughs> Glaceon has no niche in any of those gens, and I still did lives for it. You gotta understand how much I like that mod. Please, some respect. If you like Glaceon, let me know in the chat. If you a real Glaceon fan, please let me know in the chat. Please let me know in the chat. Only if you a real Glaceon fan. Anyway, I'm picking Kiram White. This shit is fucking beast. No disrespect to Kiram Black, who has saved me in many OU games across the last three generations. However, Kiram White, I never see this Pokemon. And for that reason, I'm going to pick it, just like I picked Reshiram. We don't see this Pokemon represented in Ubers that much. And it's so fucking beast. It's got Fusion Flare, Ice Beam, Focus Blast. Kiram Black is an awesome Pokemon. Don't get it twisted, but there's a reason Kiram B is an OU and this joint is an Ubers. It is what it is. It is what it is. I miss Reshiram, though, or whatever. Kiram White. This guy's a god. All right. Next. All of these are awesome looking mons, but Crab is hilarious. Oh my god. Whoa, this is hard. Because I really like Frost Moth and I really like the Glacial Lance joint. Sipping on Calyrex Ice. Fuck! But they got the G. Do Yo, this is such a difficult decision. This is such a difficult decision between Frost Moth, this guy, Darm, bruv. This is difficult stuff. This is difficult stuff. I don't know. I don't know. This is difficult stuff. It was a Zen mode Darm that 6 would me, wasn't it? So it's this one. I already have that one, though. Fuck. I really like Calyrex Ice. I'm picking Calyrex Ice. I really like that one. No, I'm picking it. I'm picking it. No, I'm picking it. It's coming with. I'm I'm bringing it. It's coming with. No way. I'm going with sipping on Calyrex Ice. That's the original horse. Have you ever seen the agency's hit video horse? You got to check that out. No. Everybody knows Calyrex Ice is nasty. Stop playing with me. Stop hating. Stop hating. Stop hating. No, sorry to say. It is what it is. It's coming with. All right, next. Oh, these are all pretty nasty. I never knew that Backscalibur looked like looked like this. Backscalibur looks like it wants a hug, doesn't it? 
It's pretty funny. <laughs> I like Chimpo a lot. I like Bundle a lot too. Tough. I like Arc the Backs. The little I like the middle joint. It's funny. Probably if I were to pick one from these two. Hmm. It would probably be Chimpow. Chimpow just looks nasty. I remember when we were looking through the stats back in the day on stream, and I saw Chimpow's stats. I was like, whoa, I can't wait to use this. Back when it was called Jambao Leopard, that shit, I was so ready. I was so ready. I was so ready for Pow. The guy's the beast. Don't forget Bundle Shiny. Bundle Shiny is the best Shiny in the game. If we were doing Shiny, then... How do I make it Shiny? Yeah, see, if I'm... Oh, I know you can make it shiny like that. That's pretty dope. Yeah, Bundle Shiny is the best shiny in the game. I love this shiny. So if we were going with shinies, then yes. It would probably be Iron Bundle. What is this thing shiny? Oh, that's pretty tough too. I'm not gonna lie. The brown coat, that's pretty tough. But yeah, if we were going with shinies, I'd probably pick uh, I'd probably pick Iron Bundle. Because that shiny is really dope. I like that chrome shit. But yeah, I'm just going with the OG for ease anyways yo are we done oh shit all right Chimpow is there all right next fighting oh wow they got some they got some monsters for real now i've always been a fan of machamp four arms two titties you know classic humanoid build i've always been a fan of what machamp brings to the table i like hitmonlee as well it's a fun pokemon it's always been pretty cool. Primate. Primate is interesting as well. I have a lot of Machamp videos, don't I? I have like a couple of Machampian ass videos. I have a Machoke video too, right? Oh wait, no guard fissure. It's Machamp. I love to troll, bitch. As long as I love trolling, me and Machamp. Sunday to Sunday. It's time. As long as I like trolling, me and Machamp going far, bitch. There's only three joints. Come on now. Anyway, I like hit on top. I already picked Blaziken once, so I'd probably pick Breloom. Ooh. I already picked Infernape. I'd probably pick Lucario here, or Rylu. I like both of those joints a lot. I'm not gonna hold you. I like Gallade too, but I don't like Gallade more than I like fucking Rylu or Lucario or Toxicroak. I like Rylu though. Rylu's a funny ass guy. Rylu's a funny motherfucker. I'm not gonna lie to you. But Krogunk just seems like, I mean, Toxicroak has a has the agency vibes, you know, has an agency vibe to it. So it's tough. It's tough to decide. <laughs> Rylu only runs dishonest prankster roar sets. Lucario is more socially acceptable. You're honestly spitting. You're honestly spitting. Lucario is beast. I used to use Lucario in Black White OU. We're going with Lucario. All right. We're at fighting types. Definitely some dope mons here. If I had to pick, I'd probably pick Cobalion. I actually really fuck with Cobalion. I don't know why, but I'm a fan of that shit. It's 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 just cool to me. I don't know why. It's like whatever. It's not even that cool looking back. But like I really loved Cobalion's design for some reason. Probably because it was the closest shit to Keldeo before Keldeo came out. When they revealed these three musketeers and then they told us that keldeo was coming out in black white too i remember i was like please drop keldeo because the water fighting one i knew that shit was gonna be just godlike i knew that shit was gonna be out of this world good swear to god i was in like seventh grade or some shit i was so ready for this i knew it was gonna change the game forever and then it did trust me i was a genius anyway i'm going with Cobalion. i think well i just picked a steel fight so that's dry so we'll go with me and Shao. Ooh, these guys are crazy these guys are crazy. I like all of these. I like Mega Medi a lot, so we're gonna go with that. Oh shit, they got nothing but big threats. Between Buzz, Komo'o, and Mosa, this is really tough. So Komo'o has carried me so much, and then Vilgax is Vilgax. So it's pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie. Komo'o versus Vilgax is a very difficult decision. Komo'o has done so much in our day. 
But Vilgax is Vilgax. Might be recency bias, though. However, both have won me important tournament battles in my past. Both Kamoa and this shit have both won me equally important tournament battles. So they're 1-1 one, one in that, because they both won. I can't really pick. And they both were instrumental in victories. <sighs> Damn. It's tough. Both of these are such godlike Pokemon. Alright, we're going with Vilgax. Vilgax is just too fucking beast. Alright. Some, some, some hitters here. Probably Sneasler. Sneasler's kind of shysty. I like that guy. And then from these... <laughs> God damn. They got some threats in this bitch. Probably Slitherwing. Not gonna lie. I like the little Taco Moth with its strong ass attack. I like the little Taco Moth. I'm not gonna lie to you. The Taco Moth is crazy. <laughs> That shit is one of my all-time favorites. I'm not going to lie to you. The, ta the Taco Moth is putting in the work. The Taco Moth is putting in the work. That Mon is very fun. Very good looking Mon. I like Tusk. Don't get it twisted. But Tusk has not left the impression on me that the Taco Moth has left on me. The impression that the Taco Moth has left on me is just out of this world. Alright. Let's see here. Ooh, there's a lot of good poison joints. There's a lot of good ones here. I ain't gonna lie to you. I would say that... I, man, I had never knew there was so many poisons in here, huh? Um, Let's go with... I like Tentacool a lot. I like Needle King a lot. Needle King is fucking dope. But I, I feel like Tentacruel is, like, really dope. I feel like Tentacruel is really dope. I don't know trying to think if i ever brought either of these guys in tournaments and they did me justice i brought a needle king once in tournament and the opponent had a fucking gastrodon and it walled me and i couldn't win that shit made me cry and then tentacruel i brought once and tentacruel went crazy with scarf tentacruel remember so maybe tentacruel is the one all right we're going with tentacruel needle king let me down i lost in the playoffs with needle king shit head mon all right all four of these guys are pretty funny i'm not gonna lie anyways it's Crobat. Crobat is fucking shysty. I used to use Crobat and UU a lot and taunt everybody who was being annoying. Alrighty. Uh, this is Dash. This is... This. I probably would say Seviper, dude. The rest of these guys are whack and Swallowed is fucking whack as fuck. Alright, next. Uh, between all of these, I would say Rose Raid. I really like Rose Raid and I used to use Rose Raid a lot in Gen 7 RU. Used to always get up spikes for me and stuff like that. Really good Pokemon, I'm not gonna hold you. This is a dog shit lineup. What is this? Amoongus or Scolipede. The rest of you are whack. I like Fungus too. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you at all. Dude, all these are shit. I like Scolipede and I like Amoongus, but I don't know which one I like more. Amoongus is my guy. You know how much you guys know. I'm sure you guys do know how much I used to. I used to post a lot of tournament games in 2016 through 18. Me and Amoongus? Oh my god. I was switch I was send that guy out, turn two, turn three, spore, spore, stun spore, stun spore, status the whole team. Yes, it's time. <laughs> Dude, come on. Amoongus. <laughs> it's tough. Amoongus is so funny. Uh, spore, spore, spore. I love this shit. <laughs> Shout out my boy D in the chat. Spore, spore, spore. That's really what we on, bro. <laughs> We just sporing it up. We almost at a thousand viewers right now. Go ahead and tell your grandma or whoever to tune into the stream. And make sure you like the stream if you haven't already. We almost at a thousand viewers. We got to get this up to a thousand likes. Absolutely. Make sure you subscribe. If you're not subscribed, I'm trying to get to 123K. Make sure you click the subscribe button, notification bell, so you know when I'm streaming. All that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Anyways, we are going to go with Amoongus. We have to go with Amoongus. Amoongus is an absolute legendary pick. Just puts in the work. All four of these are beast, but Mega Gengar is like a, a cultural shift. A cultural phenomenon, if you will. So I'm picking Mega Gar. This guy looks so fucking swag. It is what it is. Okay. This is difficult for me. Because I love Muk. I love Nihiligo. And I love Naganadel. 
It's between Muck and Nihelago. I can't decide. Alolan Muck is like... Whoa. Alolan Muck is so sick. Alolan Muck is so fucking sick. Nihelago is really cool too, though. Like this design with the little jellyfish and... Anyways, I brought a Nihelago to tournament once and I lost. I brought a Muck once and I cooked. It is what it is and it was what it was. Alright. Next up, we got all of these. Damn, some hitters here. Garbodar on crack looks really disgusting. I really don't like this Pokemon. Uh, this is also disgusting. This Alice in Wonderland S Gengar, I don't like this either. Probably Sloking G or Bong Weezing. I'm gonna go with Bong Weezing. This guy is funny as shit. I already picked regular Sloking, and I like Sloking G, but I like regular Sloking more. So I'd probably go with Bong Weezing, which is just a funny ass design in general. Doug Dimadome, Sir Topham Hat Ass Weezing. This is the best one of all time. I like this one a lot. Mr. Strange Team. This is pretty easy. It's going to have to be the very expensive V12 Kiz. Come on now. I do like Claude. I do like Mathematics, but I cannot lie to you, bro. The V12? Come on, man. Come on, man. Yo, Poison has some hitters at the end. Look at these three. These three are competing for three of the like all-time best designs, period. Damn. Well done to those guys. All right, we're making some good progress on this list. Ground types. Okay. All these ground types are pretty funny. Uh, if I had to pick one, probably pick Nido King for sure. Ooh, these are all pretty funny, but I really, really like Quagsire, and I really like Don Fan. Uh, it's difficult to decide, but I really like Quag. Quag is Quag, man. Quag has done me some fucking solids, bro. But the Don has done me some solids, too. Hmm. It's tough. We're gonna go with Quag. Quag's done me some, some solids. Damn, they got some threats here in Gen 3. I don't know what I'd pick in Gen 3. I want to say Whiskash. I like Whiskash. I'm a fan of Whiskash's mustache. You know? It's always been a very, uh... What's it called? Photogenic Pokemon to me. I'm gonna have to go with Whiskash. You know, you. I, I like Water Grounds. These are all really nice Pokemon. But, if I had to pick one, it's going to be Gliscor, score, score! Everybody knows I love Gliscor. I've been waiting on Gliscor's return for so damn long. We've been waiting on Gliscor for too long, man. Too long. Didn't have it in Gen 8. Don't have it in Gen 9 yet. I'm going to be the first in line to use Gliscor when it's back. Let it be known. Let it be known. Gen 5. Whew. Gen 5 got some of them ones. Gen 5 got some of them ones. Anyways. Seismitoad. I do like you a lot. Drill. I like you a lot too. Landris, Crook, Go Lurkio? Nah, Lurkio. This is so difficult. What do we think, folks? Right now in the chat. We, we, post right now in the chat. What's the one? What's the one? Who's the one? Who's the one? I, ca I can't decide. It's too difficult. Imagine having an emote and not being selected. <sighs> Damn. It's very varied. Oh my lord, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's so diverse. This is the hardest one of all time. Oh my, yo, there seems to be a lot of crook fans in this bitch. Glowbox? Oh no. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many. Well, oh my lord. Alright, it's drill. It's gotta be drill. Do you know what this mod did? I brought this mod to the finals. This is the best mod of all time. I don't give a fuck. This is the best mod of all time. A driller it is. Driller wins. Driller wins. It is what it is. Sorry to say. Seismitoad. Drill wins. Drill is drill. Sorry to say. Maybe it was a betrayal. You don't have to agree, but you have to respect it. You don't have to agree, but you must accept it. It is what it is. Sorry to say. <laughs> Drill will send Golden Go to UU backs. I disrespect it, but I agree. Hmm. Interesting. 
All right, all these designs are beast. I like all the Megas. I like Ziggy. Saddest day in agency history. I'm sorry if any of you feel personally betrayed. Please take it up with Sama. He is my manager and he, he will take care of you. He'll make sure that you do not feel slighted ever again by the agency. Very sorry if any of you feel betrayed. But it is what it is. All right, what's next? I already picked Diggersby, didn't I? Yeah, I can't pick Diggersby again. Um... Maybe Megalix or Pert. I don't know which one, though. I can't pick three water grounds. That's some serious dick riding. Are you serious? If I pick three water grounds, that's seriously ill. Come on. You can't do that shit. That's outrageous. It's next level. It's next level, I'm telling you. But I just picked the steel ground, too. So hold on. I got to be realistic here. Hmm. How you gonna pick Pert when it's the man that lost you? I'm gonna be honest. Facts. Fuck Pert. We're going Steelix. All right, next. Yo. I like Reggie V. I like Goldilocks. But Zygarde complete is so damn funny. Remember using this mon for the few months it was legal? Not a few months, few days. It was very enjoyable. pick ursaluna the rest of these look like clowns all of these are pretty dope all of these are pretty dope this is tough this gen 9 one is not easy i tell you that i tell you that one folks this gen this gen this gen one is not easy what are we thinking joe rogan toad scroll is really amazing i like ting louie a lot i like tusk a lot Hmm. All right, let me know right now in the chat what we're thinking. What are we thinking? Who's the one to get the job done right here? I don't know. I don't know. There's like so many good ones. Ting Louis fell off. It did fall off a little bit, but it's either Great Nose or Toad Scroll, I think. Great Tusk looks pretty good. Toad Scroll looks pretty good too. I'm gonna go with Toad Scroll, I think. Should I go with Spin Forever? Fuck, I can't decide. But Ting Lu is so fire too. Let's go with Great Tusk because its name is Great Tusk, so it's probably great. So we're just gonna go with Great Tusk. Alright, Flying. Flying has nothing but shysty guys, nothing but super hitters. Claude needs this is so funny in the chat. Claude needs this W. I'm sorry, Claude didn't win. This is this is unfortunately the difficult mathematics. I like Scyther a lot. I like Scyther quite a bit. You all know that my my Scyther obsession is it's been there for a while. I've done many Scyther videos. I like Dodrio a lot too. It's gonna be Scyther. It's one of my favorite bird types. I'm a bird type connoisseur, bitch. All right, so there's some good flying types here too. I've always liked Lugia. I like Skarm too. I don't like the competitive bastardi bastardization of Skarm where all it does is spikes and toxic like a bitch, but it's still pretty good, you know? Uh, let's see. I like Glyscor though. Glygar, aka Gar Gar Gar. Hmm. All of these are pretty fire. I like Murkrow even. Murkrow as a hat? Holy shit, he's right. I actually never considered the Murkrow hat element. Murkrow may just tap in and win. Hmm. The hat is big. The hat is big. I'm not going to hold you. Hmm. I don't know who to pick, man. I like all these ones, but I would say probably Lugia. If I had to pick one. Cause this, but Lugia, I never really used Lugia. Like ever competitively. Ever. That's purely design. I'm going with Gligar. All right. Whoa. There's some of them ones here. I already told y'all that Mence is my guy for real. So it's going to be Mence. I like everything here, but I love Mence. Okay. I already picked Gliscor, so we're not picking Gliscor again. 
It's probably Staraptor or Yanmega or Shaman S. All of these are beasts. All of these are beasts. Yeah, this is tough. All of these are fucking beasts. Honstro has a hat. Fuck, he's right. Every time y'all tell me something has a hat, I have to double take and take a look and just appreciate that hat. I respect hats. I respect hats a lot. Hmm. Blimp disrespect is insane. <laughs> I like Drift Blimp, actually. Yo, Drift Blimp might be a sleeper pick. I don't know. Drift Blimp is... I like Drift Blimp's hair. <laughs> Alright, Drift Blimp, you're, you're coming with us. Wow, Gen 5 has some of them things. Look at this. Another move, fucking beasts. I like Landorus Eye. I like Archeops. I like... Bu oh, Mandibus has done me so many solids. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. You're coming with me, Mandibuzz. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. You're coming with me. Yup, Mandibuzz sweep. All the real know that Mandibuzz was going to win immediately. I, well, I've said it before. Mandibuzz is Landris T number two. All the real knew that Mandibuzz was coming with us. Mandibuzz is so fire. Stop playing with me. I love Landers T. Why are there so many Vivalons? They got 20 of these bitches. Dude, this is why they can't have half the decks in the game because they got 20 motherfucking moth colors. Like, what is this bullshit? What is this absolute bullshit? Why do we have so many of these? What the fuck? Then they tell us that they can't code in my Waylord shit. Man, because you got 20 goddamn butterflies. Nobody's using one of them butterflies. This is actually outrageous. I should slap them again. All right, whatever. Next, we'll see. We'll see what we're going to pick here. They got some fucking hitters. I like everything here. I like Pinsir a lot. I think Pinsir. I don't know. I like Pinsir a lot. Pinsir just looks evil. Never let me down in tournament. Got to go with Pinsir. This mod's just kind of cool. It's just a cool mod, you know? And Pinsir is a skillful pick. Because once you mega evolve that pincer, Stealth Rock cannot go up. So I like I like pincer. He's dope. The all mega sweep in fifth gen, nah for real. All megas are gonna uh, almost they all swept, but I had a grand. They almost swept in gen six. All right. Were you telling me there's seven different miniors too? Why well, don't I know about this? If I knew there was minior green chain version, I'd probably use it more. Shit's crazy. I like minior though, but Steela is fucking Steela. Are you insane? I love this one. Whoa. Big Corv is really, really cool. Uh, I'd probably pick Braviary or Articuno. But Articuno, I had this. This is the Mon that won Emerald Rogue for me for the first time. And I can never forget it for that reason. I, I, I lost Emerald Rogue so many times before this shit won me the game. And for that reason, it's coming with us. There's no other way to say it. Ooh, flying type. All of these are promising, but now I can safely bring Green Chain with us into the finals. So that's pretty that's pretty good. That is pretty solid. Psychic. Okay. Psychic is pretty easy. Uh it's Mewtwo. Oh hell no. All these unknown shitters. I already picked Slow King, so I'm gonna go with Espeon. I like Espeon a lot. Uh it's either Latios or Deoxys attack. Yeah, it's Latios or Deoxys Attack. Probably Latios, though. The amount of times I spammed this, this shit won me every tour game ever in Gen 5 and Gen 6. In Gen 7, I spammed it as a Mega Form, too. Literally, this is the greatest Mon ever. Fuck out of here. If you don't like Latios, there's something so wrong with you. This Mon is like... It's like OP. I don't even know how to explain it. Every time I use it in Gen 5, Gen 6, and again, even in Gen 7, the shit feels OP. Tell me this mon doesn't feel OP. The original drop of Draco. This thing gets a free switch and you want to shoot your laptop. This is the OGs of OGs. Latios is the fucking Dawn Dada of OU. Never disrespect this mon. It'll just drop a Draco on you and blow you up. It's the best mon ever. Alright. I love Azelf. Easy pick. Um, Who from here? All these joints are pretty valid. 
I like all these all these guys. I actually I actually like them a lot. Let's see here. I say we're gonna go with uh I like Reuniclus. I like Reuniclus. Victini's pretty cool. I never brought no Victini to nothing. I like I like Reuniclus. I like Jelly. It's funny. Whoa, this is impossible. Everyone here is too sized. What kind of what kind of lineup is this, man? I love Mega Mewtwo Y. I love Mega Zam. And I love Hoopa. Fuck. <gasps> Anyways, Mega Elakazam won the Smogon Tour Finals. Next. Alright, let's see. Oh, this is a clean sweep. It's obviously the fucking goat. Are you crazy? As if I would pick anyone except for this guy right here. Stop playing with me. This is the best mon ever. All I do is farm pussies with this. You switch it in. You click Focus Blast turn one. Because they always go to their Steel type. And then you win. I would lead this every game of tournament. I just Focus Blast turn one. And they'd always go to their Steel type. It was like, I thought it was the most amazing strategy of all time. To be honest, all these Psychics are gorgeous. Like, the, these are amazing, amazing Pokemon. I love Necrozma. I love, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Oranguru. All this shit is dope. But yeah. Golurkio, the voice. <laughs> he the voice. Who's the hero? Skeledurge is the hero, I guess. Alright. Golurkio, he the voice. <laughs> the voice is funny. Mm. These are cool. All these are cool. I like hat. I like the baby hat. I like the baby hat a lot. I already picked Calyrex Ice, so I made sure to get that one. I do like, uh, I like the little hat. I know Hat has a hat, but I like the little hat. The little hat is cuter. Oh, and then they, all of these are shiced, but Screamtail is my goat. Psychic has some amazing picks. All right, next, we're in regular bug. I actually hate everything here, except for this. And I already picked this, so this is actually quite difficult now. I actually don't even like any of the other ones. Then I'm just changing you to something else. I'll change you to a fucking Dragonite. I don't care. And then I'll put this as Scyther. Because there's no way I'm picking the other ones. I don't even like the other ones. I don't like Beedrill like that. I like Mega Beedrill. I don't like regular Beedrill. I like that Mega Sauce. I don't like regular. Hold on. Have some respect. Alright. This is easy. This is Scizor the Goat. You feel me? This is a clean Scizor Super Sweep. Gyarados for flying. All right, we'll go with Gyarados. Gyarados is pretty solid. Does Gen 1 even have another dragon? Fuck if I know. All right, let's see. I like all these. I like Wormpool. I like Masquerain. I like Shedinja. Shedinja is pretty nasty. I like Shedinja. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I go with Shedinja. Shedinja is really cool. Stylistically, Shedinja has always been really uh, quite an interesting one. Flying type, that's going to be a Yanmega sweep. Let's be real. Yanmega is so cool. And it has a good stat distribution. This is a clean sweep from my boy Genesect, which is inarguably one of the coolest Pokemon of all time ever. Period. X1000 million. So it's Genesect. This is the greatest mon ever. RIP. No, Volcarona's bitch ass is not being picked. Genesect is amazing. All the Vivalonis and then we have the Megas. I like Mega Zord, but we're going to have to go with Mega Beedrill. I don't like Mega Heracross's art that much. In fact, Mega Heracross videos never even used to get viewed like that because it was such an ugly Pokemon. And that was bad for business. That was bad for business, folks. Let me be real. That was not good for business. I, I, not good for business. So we'll see. I think I've heard Goatmon at like 50 times this vid. <laughs> You're not lying. All right, next we have the bug type of Generation 7. Uh, I guess we'll go with Mosa. I already picked the other ones I liked. Or not the bug type, the, uh, yeah. Well, actually, Pod is probably more realistic for me. Because I like Mosa a lot, design-wise, but I like Pod a lot, too. Probably Pod. Probably Pod. 
I like that pod video a lot. All right. We're down to generation eight. I've always had some weird enjoyment of Frostmoth, so I gotta put Frostmoth there. It's gotta be Frostmoth. I've always really, really liked this mod. It's getting its shine. All right. Oh, Spide Ops versus Low Kicks is difficult, but Spide Ops, bitch. I like you, Low Kicks, but Spide Ops is Spide Ops. Everybody knows I like Spide Ops. Sorry to say. Spide Ops, Spide Ops, Spide Ops. It is what it is. Spide Ops wins. Spide Ops haters in disbelief. If you don't like Spide Ops, fuck you. You're not agency. Respectfully. All right, next. Rock. I love Spide Ops. It's such a dank design. Come on. It's really, it's really quite, it's clear. It's really quite clear. All right, next up we have these guys. Uh, all of these are pretty dope. I would say Aerodactyl, though. Oh, come on now. Between these, I like... Uh, I like Aggron. Between these, I like Probopass. Uh, probably Archaeops. These are like easy. There's like nobody left. Oh, now these are pretty nasty. All these are fire. Mega Diancy? Mm, that's one of them ones. Mega Diancy is super dope. I'm not gonna lie. Of course I picked Nose. I see you and the guys in the chat are behind. Of course I picked Nose. As for the rock type, ah, that's gotta be Stacka. Agent Stack put in major, major giga work for us. Stone Journey has recently really pleased me. However, I can't pick Stone Journey because that would be nasty recency bias. So for that reason, we're going to go with Gigantamax, this thingy, because I actually like this thingy. Actually, regular probably better than Gigantamax. Or should I go with Arcanine H for the left-handed pick? Yep, let's go with Arcanine H. Finally, the last one. Mr. Garg, you're coming with us. This is one of the best designs. This Donkey Kong Tower shit is so cool. I love this. I love this design. Garg's coming with. I'm picking Garg. The design is outrageously good. There's no, uh, nobody else is as good as Garg. Sorry to say. Design is a so good. You don't have to like Garg as a competitive Pokemon, but you must respect that its design is amazing. All right. Next, we only have these three shitters. So obviously Gengar. I have no, what, 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 no choice? I don't even like this mon. Great. I like regular, I like Mega Sableye more than I like regular, to be honest with you, so. I'll pick Sableye for now, but if I like Mega Sableye more than everything else, I'm gonna change this shit. Oops, my shit's, why is my shit highlighted? Alright, but. Oh, it's starting to cut off. I'm gonna need to change my, hold on. Don't worry, folks. Let me drag this shit over to the side a little bit. You feel me? Perfect. Okay, wait a minute. There's two more. Damn, this is some big shit. This is a list and a half. Make sure you like the stream if you haven't already, folks. We need to get this to 1,000 likes ASAP. This is some... This is some good shit. All right. All right, so we're still in Ghost. We're still in Ghost. Hmm. Everybody here is kind of dope. I like Rotom Normal a lot. I like Misdreavus and its real hat a lot too. I like Giratina a lot even more. You know, Giratina's beast. And I like the fat ass one, not the mega one. Not the mega, the, the origin form. All right, Jellicent's coming with. I like Lurkio a lot, but I really like Jellicent. Nobody here is even nearly as, like, half as good as Mega Sableye. Aegislash is cool, but I love Sableye a lot. We'll make this, uh... We'll make this Shedinja. And then we'll go back to, where did I pick Shedinja? I picked Shedinja right here. Let's see who else is comparable here to Shedinja that I liked. I do like Wormpool. And I do like Masquerain. I like Wormpool. We'll go Wormpool. Alright, but... I already picked Blacephalon, so I'm not going to pick him again. I do like Marshadow, and I do like Decidueye. But I would probably have to go with... 
If I was to pick between the two, I think I'd probably pick Decidueye. It's tough. Alolan Marowak is a really good design. You guys are right, but it's... it's hmm. Ah, Marsha Dodo. Marsha Dodo. Marsha Dodo. <laughs> it's tough. Hmm. I already picked the clown. Don't worry. The clown was already picked under fire types. I'm gonna pick Marsha Dodo. Oh, all of these are epic. However, however, Poltergeist and Dragapult are at the top. And Dragapult is one of the greatest arts of all time. However, we're going to go with Poltergeist, because maybe uh, Dragapult will win Dragon. I'll come back to it. Alright. Finally, we have everything here. Uh, I like Golden Go a lot. I think it's pretty dope. I like Primeape too, though. Or Annihilate, or whatever. But we're going with Go. Go is shiced. Go is shiced. This design is so fucking beast. Come on, now. This electric-ass joint. Wait. But there's also Dirge. Hmm. It's difficult. I'm gonna have to pick Dirge. In a crazy turn of events, Skeledirge W. In a crazy turn of events, Skeledirge W. Sorry to say. Dirge W. In a crazy turn of events, Dragonite. Great. Already picked Mance. Already picked Lottie. That leaves us with a bunch of other ones. I mean, like, I like Ray as much as the next guy, so sure. From these guys, I like Dialga the most. I like Dialga more than Chomp. He's super shysty. I like all these a lot. These are all super cool. Uh, Hydreigon, though, is my guy. Always. All the Megas are cool here. Probably have to pick Zardex. If it's... Uh, yeah, I probably have to pick Zardex. Zardex is just the quintessential dragon. Let's be real. Ooh, all of these are pretty dope. It's between Naga, whatever this evil shit is, and then this, but probably Komo'o for me. Gen 8 dragons? Wow. There are some of them amazing dragons here. It's between Vish and Pult. Shout out Micro for the four months, Legion's lieutenants. Jolden Joe, abandoned by the agency. Sad day, do not say abandoned. He can always come back on the steel type ones. Anyways, I think I'm going to have to go with Vish. I like Vish a lot. Vish has done a lot of good stuff. I already picked Vish. Oh, I did? All right, then it's going to be Pult. And then finally, we have our final dragon. Now, I like all of these a lot, right? These are all great arts. Walking Wakes is probably the dopest we have so many salamences in this bitch but maridon is like yo maridon is one of them ones nothing else to say wait i like tatsu too though hold on i really like tatsu no maridon is the best pokemon ever i can't not pick it it has to come with maridon's already the best mon of all time it's coming with all right dark what the hell is this? Who the fuck are these guys? What the fuck is this? There's no dark type in Gen 1? Fuck. What are these shits? Hey. Hey, this is scaring me. I don't like any of this shit. This is Missing No, right? Yeah. Alright, he sweeps. I know Missing No is shiest. He's an actual bird type, so we're picking him. I really like Umbreon. I brought it to, uh... Smogon Champion League. And I won with it, actually. Even though it didn't do anything. But I love that Pokemon for that reason. Uh, next up. Mm. Did Mega Shark win? No, so then I'd probably let Shark win. Maybe. Crawdon already got his spot, right? Yeah. I don't know. I like Absol a lot, too. But I like Mega Absol more. Mr. Craw already won, guys. Mr. Craw already won. I'm not picking Craw again. Absol is pretty dope. I'm going to pick Absol for now. We'll see what happens. Oh, Darkrai easily. I love Darkrai. One of my all-time favorites. Black Sludge Bisharp. Easy sweep. 
Ooh, this is difficult. Absol versus Shark. Man, I like Shark a lot. Do I like regular Shark as much as I like? Yeah, I like Mega Shark more than I like any of the other shits. Mega Shark it is. Mega Shark. Mega Shark is sharked up. Hoopa needs this win? Is that what y'all are saying? Hoopa, Hoopa needs the W? No. No, it doesn't. Sorry to say. Hoopa's a good Pokemon. But Hoopa never had no tournament time with me. Hmm. This is difficult. It's between Ash Gren and Guzzlord. I guess Ash Gren, because Guzzlord's whack. I should probably go back and change Greninja then. Because I can't have Ash Gren and Gren. That's boring. Then I'd probably pick Swampert. Probably pick Swampert then, if I'm being honest. Alright. Next up, we have the Dark Types of Generation 8. I think Obstagoon is just cooler than everybody here, to be honest. Urshifu was cool, but Obstagoon is Obstagoon, let's be real. And then we have the Gen 9 Dark Types. All Dark Types in Gen 9 are so cool. Damn, I can't decide. King Gambit is so fire, but I already picked Bisharp. I can't pick both of them shits. King Gambit is cooler than Bisharp, so I switch Bisharp for Crook and call it a day, probably. Everybody is dope here, but... Dude, Gambit is like... Wo Chen should be the only one that can win two categories. I can't have Wo Chen win again. That's so foul. Wo Chen already won right here. Let's be serious, folks. Wo Chen needs two wins for compensation. Compensating who? All right. If someone gives 10 members, Wo Chen will win two slots. Until then, keep watching. This Wo Chen love is not real. All right. Magneton versus Magnus Solo. Who do we like? Who do we like? Goon won twice? Oh, shit. My bad. Goon won twice? Then we're picking her Shifu. Because that guy's a beast. All right, Magneton Aceus. We'll go. Oh, all oh, these are pretty nasty. I like Skarm a lot. Skarm just gets them things done. There's nothing really else to say. Effective Pokemon at what it does. And what it does is what it does. Am I right? Or am I right? I already picked Scizor after all. I like Fortress too, but... It's between Jirachi and Metagross. I like Jirachi though. All these are dope. But it's gonna be Heatran. Given that I already picked a lot of these other ones. Picked a lot of these ones already. Probably it would be... Uh... I like Ferrothorn a lot. I'm not gonna hold you. Ferrothorn design-wise always did strike me as, a, as an aggressive Pokemon. I do like Mega Maw. Mega Maw is cool. <sighs> Mega Maw is cool, man. Mega Maw is cool. Mega Maw always did strike fear into many hearts. Look at this design and tell me this isn't a Mon that strikes fear. Damn, we had 1,200 viewers? We going to the moon right now. We going to the moon right now. Let me see Mr. Craw emoji in the chat right now. 1,200 viewers is crazy. Let me see a like. Let me see some likes too. We're so close to 1K. Let me see Mr. Craw emoji in the chat right now. 1,200 viewers is crazy. I know so many people were tapped into us finding out the greatest Mon of all time. I'm pleased. I'm pleased to see that. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Go ahead and become a member too. Join the agency Discord. That's all I like to see. Appreciate y'all. We're trying to get this numbers up. All right. Next, we have Generation 7 Steel Types. Now... I like all these Pokemon. I have always been a very outspoken fan of the Magirna origin form. This is some crazy color scheming. I really like this one. I would use this more if I remember to make it shiny or whatever this form is. Anyways, this Magirna is really cool. I really like this, uh, this color scheme. I've always really liked it. I got to pick this one. Got to. Got to got to alrighty now we got all these joints it's obviously Raj with this big ass copper Raj nose 
Literally, it's Raj. There's no other situation where it's going to be anybody else. Everybody here is dope. It's between Tinkaton and Golden Go. If I had to pick, I'd probably pick Tinkaton. But I already have a Steel Fairy, so it's going to be Golden Go in a very, very close victory. I like Tinkaton a lot, though. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and I also have a Steel Fairy here. I can't pick three Steel Fairies. That's insane dick riding. No way. It's going to be Golden Joseph. All right, Fairy Time, boy. All right, all these are whack, so we're going to go with Big big, big Boss, Clefable. Next, it's Azumarill, of course. I like Guard, like, kind of, but not really. I like Mega Guard more than I like Regular Guard, but I've used Regular Guard a good amount. Togekiss, I got no options. I got no options in this bitch. Finally, some new shit. Thank God. That was playing with me, giving me a bunch of trash. Okay. Mega Guard is heat. Everything else here is shit. I'm not picking Meryl when I just picked the Zoomerl. Otherwise, I would have to make this a Grand Bull. And I don't even like Grand Bull like that. I like Togepi, though. But still, I don't like Togepi like that. You feel me? You have two D-Knights? Do I? No, I don't. I'm tripping. Didn't you? I already chose Whimsicott? No, I didn't choose Whimsicott yet. I like Mega Altaria a lot, but Zern is pretty nasty. I like this Cupcake shit, too. Ooh, and Floet. The Floet AZ is pretty cool. The Floet Arizona edition. I'm not going to lie. That, that one is pretty dope. Floet from Arizona is dope. Seriously, you know? So I, I, I don't know. What do y'all think? Hmm. What do we think? You ran Gujra yet? I don't even be liking Gujra like that. Respectfully to all the Gujra fanatics in the chat. You know, plus one to y'all, but you know. Which one of y'all? Sorry to say. More likes than viewers. Come on, y'all. Share that link. Facto. I don't know. This is, this is difficult. Mega Alt is a beast, though. I like this design quite a bit. All right. From all of these, I already picked Coco Lele. I already picked Mag. Probably pick Bulu or Feeny. I like Feeny a lot, though. All right, between all these, it's going to be Zacian. This thing is such a sick-looking super dog. And then between all these, I already picked Screamtail, because I just love Screamtail so much. Uh, Iron Valiant looks so cool. It's going to have to be Iron Val. Iron Valiant looks so damn cool. It's just too cool. Check shiny origin mag. All right, let's let me take a look. Ooh, that black and white scale, that gray scale one is tough. I like that too. But yeah, it's gonna have to be Iron Valiant, folks. That mon is just too cool. Already picked Feeny. I don't think I picked Feeny already, did I? Nah, I didn't. All right, starter. Oh, so then why is Eevee here? Eevee's a starter. Oh, and that fucking Eevee, let's go Eevee or whatever it's called, right? Some shit like that, right? Yeah, okay. Anyways, the best starter is like Infernape. None of these are Infernape. If I play Gen 1, I haven't played that shit before. I'd probably pick Charizard. So let's go with Charizard. Even though you picked the, like the baby. But like Charizard's cooler, so we're going with that. I like Gator more than I like all the other ones. From this, I like Blaziken the most, but I already picked Blaziken. I already picked the Mega Pert, so I... Probably picks uh, Sceptile. I like Grovile a lot too, though. We'll go Sceptile. Already picked Ape. Already picked Emp. I guess I'm forced to pick Torterra then, as a result of already picking everybody else. That's tough. Y'all are lucky. Y'all are lucky. All right, between these three, they're all so dumb, but it's going to have to be Serp or Duat. I like Serp a lot, though. You come with me. Grass, grass Sweep is crazy right here. I don't even like grass starters like that. Hold on. I, nah, I'm going back. I'm making this Infernape. And then I'm going back to wherever Infernape is and picking Magmortar. Because there's no way my I'm putting... This, I would never use a Torterra in my endgame. I'm going to tell you that shit right now. You would never catch me using that slow-ass bullshit. You'd never catch me using that shit. I'll tell you that right now. No chance. Serp? Yeah, I'd probably use that in Blaze Black Volt White too. Because Contrary is in there and it's a hard-ass game. In OG? Got me fucked up if you think I'm using Giga Drain Leech Seed in the regular game. In-game going to take me 60 hours to beat. I'm going to be honest, it's an Embor sweep. I like Embor. Embor's pretty shysty. All right, next. Uh, I like Death, Delphox. Can't lie to you. 
did I pick? I think I picked Del Fox too. Uh, just a UI. Intelligent is cool. But I also like this a lot. But it's got to be intelligent. And then finally, Dirge. That's the list. Sorry to say. That's the list. Gimmick form? Oh, shit. So what are these? Megas? <laughs> okay, buddy. Or no, these are Gigas. The best Gigas... Or, well, no, these are Megas and Gigas. The best from all these joints that I didn't pick yet is, uh, what are we thinking? I have two dirges? I have two dirges? Oh, my God. Good call. Two dirges means we're picking Meow. Hell, yeah. All right, gimmick form. Hmm. Gimmick form is pretty cool. I'd say we go with... Who are we going to go with? Let's see here. What are we going to go with? This is this is a difficult one, folks. I like Dragon Zard. I already picked Dragon Zard, though. Didn't I? I, I want to say Snorlax. Is the last one I like the most. Or Mega B. Probably Mega B from the remainders, to be honest with y'all. I've already picked everything else that I like a lot. I'm not doubling up on nobody. No chance. We gotta have a unique category. Between these six, I do like uh I do like Houndoom quite a bit. Houndoom is really is really one of them. Ooh. Well, this is very Nice. Ooh, they got some of them. Them ones. Probably go with Mega Ray. I already have Mega B in Bug. Oh, shit. I've gone through too many Pokemon. Can't decide. Slow bro, then, for sure. Did I pick Mega Ray already? I don't think so. I picked regular Ray. But Mega Ray is, is tough. Between these guys, this is difficult. Mm. Gallade is pretty cool though. Mega Gallade is an incredible design. Both of these are whack, but I'm picking Mega Audino because the other one is really whack. Okay, well they're all back here again. The fuck? Uh, let's go with... What do I like here? I like this one. Between all these shitters, I like this. I don't like this weird Mel Metal. This is literally scary to me. Ooh. All the Hisuian joints. Alright, this is where Darm G spins back for his victory. Well deserved. And then we have the other the other forms. Probably uh Toad Scroll. Alright, not bad. And now it's time for Legendario. Y'all ready? Ooh. This one, I guess I'll just go with my real favorite legend. Because I'm not going to sit here and lie and say Mewtwo and Mew is not my favorite. But we'll go with Mew. Between these, uh, Ho-Oh. Legendary. Between all these, we'll go with Deoxys A, actually. Or no, this is Deoxys A, right? Yeah, Deoxys A. Let's see here. Yo, they got some nasty legends. I do like that that Azelf. Double up and tell the truth for these last three. Okay, we'll tell the truth. Um, let's see here. How am I feeling about all these shown towards me? This this one's tough. Let's see here. Finally, put horse park. We'll put Wake for good measure. A little legendary stuff. And then my favorite of all of the ones listed. Shout out Jetpack Matt for the 10. Alrighty. Let's see. The favorite from each. These are all pretty incredible Pokemon. All of these... Ah, uh, man. Folks. 
These are some amazing mods. If I had to pick one favorite from all these, it would probably be Scyther or Mega Bro. Agency, what do we think, bro? Is it Scyther or is it Mega Bro? I just can't decide. They're both so good. But the Scythe Daddy is the Scyther. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Mega Bro lovers. There's a lot of Scythe lovers. I don't know. Alright, Scyther's winning. Next, we have all these Gen 2 joints. Sloking wins. Alright. Gen 3. Everything here is beautiful. It's between Craw and Mentz. Gotta go with Mr. Craw. Alright. DPP. Mmm. Mmm. Score, score, score! Alright. Oh, shit. These are some of the goats. But I love Lilligan. It's coming with. But I also like everything here. Hold on. I gotta really think. Everything here is a fucking super hitter. I love these mods. I love these mods. These are like... Phew. Look at some of these. Come on now. Some of the best mods of all time. Damn. Luligan is like my favorite though. I can't I can't go back on it. Alright. All these mega shits are so cool. It's between Glalie and Zam probably. I gotta go Glalie. Between all these and these are all so cool. Like these are all so cool. Everything here looks like it would smoke you in a battle. Everything here looks like it's ready for the, the, the drama. The action. The static. I sub to Thunder Blunder, not Lilligan Blunder. Hey, 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 hey. Take it up with my manager, Samba. Make sure you like the stream. Make sure you become a member if you haven't already. And then maybe you too will know the truth behind Lilligan. Alright. Um. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know what to pick. I like Blaze. I like Le I like Lele so much. It's got to be Lele. This is such a dope mon. Alright, all these are beastly. Darm. And then between all of these, whoa, Chizzy. Alrighty. So we got the favorite. Now, we take it back. Well, actually, we'll go in reverse. We got to pick the best of the best. All right. Bro picked Lele three times. I did it. I did do that. And you know what? I don't, re I don't regret it. Actually, let me go to the favorite. Hold on. All right, folks. Now I got to take this all the way back to the other side. Be prepared for the slow, the slow climb. La -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -dee -da -dee da da Look, this is my intro. This is my elevator music transition. Perfect. All right, but so we're back to this side. All right. We love the anticipation here at the agency. Thank you so much for the love and support. I love you all here at the agency as well. Thank you so much. <laughs> Y'all who I do it for. Why is the transition so slow? Because I use my arrow keys, so I don't fuck it up. Uh, okay. So, between all these, it's mouse hold. Between all these, it's either Darm G or Sarah Ledge. It's got to be Darm, though. Between all y'all and this, this is a lineup. This is a lineup, bros. Agency. Please, take a look at this and tell me that this is an easy decision. Crawdon is nasty, but there's a Slow King, there's a Keldeo, there's a Araquanid, there's a Nifilap, there's a Vit, like, this. Yo, this is some fucking difficult shit. <sighs> this is some difficult shit, folks. What are we thinking? That's some difficult shit, bro. Slow King is my guy, though. I have to stick through. Oh, the grasses are crazy. 
I don't know. I feel like Wo Chen has grown on me in an incredible way that has overtaken even Lilligant and and Low Tad. I don't know. Sloking has a hat. Lilligant also has a hat. Fuck. Low Tad is so crazy though. Whatever, dude. I sticking with my roots. It's got to be Low Tad. I love you, Wo Chen, but Low Tad is Low Tad, and it is what it is. How would Wo Chen react to this right now? Wo Chen would tell you to like the stream. Because we're only 50 likes away from 1,000 likes. And Wo Chen would like that. This is such a hard decision. Can we get 1 quadrillion likes? Facto. Alright, between all the electrics, it's between Coco and Thund. Thund. Ice. Glaceon or Xiaobao Leopard. Or Mega Glalie. Probably Glalie. Fighting type. These are all dope. Vilgax. Hold on. Hmm. Nope, it's this guy. Alright. Poison type. Hmm, this guy. I already picked Lily. Not for favorite. The clean sweep is happening right now. It is what it is, and it was what it was. Alright. The steals are crazy. The steals are crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, the, the grounds are crazy. Score, score, score! Alright, bird type. So many good birds. So many good birds here. All of these are such incredible birds. What do we think? Such incredible bird talent here that we're looking at. It's 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 amazing. The talent of the birds listed here is out of this world. Green chain or mens? Probably mens. About to pick. Now this is tough. I love psychic Pokemon. Screamtail. I, I love I the I love this Pokemon's design so much, and I love its competitive viability. I love all these Pokemon. All of these Pokemon are great, you know. But Screamtail is the Screamtail. Like, I love Screamtail. I've been repping Screamtail since the beginning. This is the best mon ever. Competitively incredible too. Can't hold you. Can't hold you. It's an amazing mon. Alright, overall bug type. It's either uh Genesect or or Spidops. I really do like Spidops' design. I think some of you think I'm memeing sometimes when I say that shit. But I really like Spidops' design. Like a lot. But Genesect is like so insane. Can never beat the four-time OU terrorist. Facts. That's a good way to describe Genesect. That's why he's coming with us. Rock types are gorgeous here. All of them look beautiful. Probably pick Garg. I really like Garg's design. I really like Garg's design. Sorry to say. Garg's coming with. I like everybody here, but Garg is it speaks to me. Ghost type. Mmm. Jellicent. Dragon. Oh, all the dragons are so dope. All the dragons are so dope. I think Maridon is a, is a winner here. All of these guys look good, but Maridon's the best Pokemon ever. And it's it looks cooler, so get fucked. Oh, you guys can't see the rest. My bad. Let me move it. Alright. Get ready for agency anticipation. Because it's time again. Agency anticipation. Sorry, it's so slow. It is what it is. I can feel the excitement. Drum roll, please. Alright. Perfect. Alright, we're back on the right side of history, folks. Recency bias is crazy. Recency bias is definitely there. I don't know. I like all these dragons. But, I mean, I guess Dragonite, I guess, would be my favorite otherwise. Or, like, I don't know. I mean, Mens is my other favorite dragon. I, like, really like Mens. I don't give a fuck about the other dragons. Like, I like them, but Mens is my favorite for real. So, I don't really care about the other ones getting represented. Alright. Between these guys, this is pretty difficult. Dark types are pretty shysty. All of these are pretty insane. You know? Like, this is... This is not an easy decision by any means. What do we think? What do you guys think? 
If I were to pick, it would probably be between Ashgren, Umbreon, and King Gambit. I think Gambit is like incredible. I like Umbreon a lot, but Gambit is like, whoa. Gambit is a really amazing design, and competitively it's broken, so we're going to go with Gambit. All right, steals. All the steals are amazing. Look at these arts. Man. This is amazing. Man. This is amazing. I can't decide. I cannot decide. I think Dangerous Nose would win. Or Golden Go. But the biggest nose ever might just win. It's just such a dangerous nose, you know? Well, I don't hate King Gambit. I think it's broken. Golden Go's design is sick, though. That nose is crazy, though. I'm not gonna hold you. That nose is outrageous. So many good designs. I like Pharaoh a lot too. Alright. The dangerous nose. From the fairies, I would say that I like Valiant design wise. Most. It used to be Whimsicott, but I like Valiant or Zation more. Uh, I say Zation just barely. Starter wise, favorite starter is Infernape. I think, like to the end of time, probably. Between these guys, these are all really cool, but Darm is Darm. These are all really cool too, but Lele is the coolest mon ever. And then between these shitters, this is like my favorite, huh? These are like all my favorites, huh? This is it? This is it, huh? This is it. Quest for the one. This is a great, this is a great list. I ain't gonna hold you. This is a great list of 25. I can strongly say that I love all of these Pokemon. I can strongly say that I love everything listed here. These are some of the agents of all time. Jesus. What a list. Anyway, Slowking wins because it's my favorite Pokemon ever. Nice. 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 Favorite regional bird? This guy. Favorite regional mammal? What? They got all these super categories? It's funny. This is funny. Favorite box legend? Favorite Pikachu clone? <laughs> Palmot. No, it's more Pico, actually. Favorite Eevee? Glaceon. Favorite fossil? Favorite fossil is probably... Vish. Favorite regional form. That's tough. A lot of these are cool. Probably Darm G. Favorite Vivalon. Favorite Spinda. What the fuck? Did you know this? Did you know you could click randomize on this Spinda shit and it would just... It would just keep being some new shit? What? Favorite Pokeball. Like, I give a fuck. I don't know. This one. That's just a nice color scheme. Favorite type? Easy. Steel. Favorite Paradox? Ooh, great question. Grimtail. Favorite Ultra Beast? Blaze. Favorite Mythical? Mag. Alright. That's gonna be that. I hope y'all enjoyed. Had a blast. Had a blast doing this. I thought this was pretty fun. I thought this was pretty, pretty damn fun. I mean, we get down to the final few, and it's an incredible, it's an incredible group of agents. It's an incredible group. C really, really a talented, talented bunch. Favorite pseudo legend has to be Dragonite. Post the whole thing in chat. How do I post the whole thing? Can I like I I, I don't how do I post the whole thing? Oh, I have to download the image. Oh, what? It's gonna How do I pick them on? Favorite regional mammal? Alright, I'll finish it. I'll finish it. Fine. Uh Favorite regional bug? Probably this shit. Favorite G-Max? Good question. We'll switch it up and go with something different this time. Favorite Al Creamy? Definitely the fat one. Alright. Now what? 
I finished it up. Do we win? Did the agency just get a big W? All right, bet. Bet, 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 bet. We're in here, agency. This is cool. This is pretty dope. We got so much good stuff. Shout out, Dub Panda. Appreciate you as always. Oh. Pick and then pick on one of my favorites to put it in there. Oh, what the fuck? They picked the team for me. They made it all move to the side. What happened? Oh my god, it's about to explode. Hope y'all enjoyed. Drop a big like if you did. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like the stream. Leave a comment. Consider becoming a member. You know what I'm saying? You get access to the agency Discord and a whole lot of good shit. Appreciate y'all. Take care. We'll see y'all soon. Peace.